in full display news. Deep, 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 deep. Submitted by Knights Who Say Nay. 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 Well, it's not an N-I. Nay. Nay. <laughs> a performance artist who exposed her genitals in the Louvre faces prosecution for exhibitionism. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So she was just like, and then like, woo, everybody, look at my vagina. Were those her lips? <laughs> oh, shit. Like that? Or a skirt. I thought it was a skirt. I did too, but no, then I'm like, that's supposed to be a skirt. <laughs> <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> she probably sat on one of those golden chairs. Why? It was at the Louvre, right? The Louvre. Yeah. The, the, the glass there. triangle museum? Yeah. The Louvre. In Paris. Yeah. yeah. They have golden chairs? Which one? Yeah, they have those rooms with all these golden, uh, wasn't it? Oh! Yeah. Oh, wait, that place is so huge. I didn't yeah, go yeah, in that yeah, section. Yeah, yeah. Everything was all gold, everything. Oh. It was like the king's area, I don't know. Are you, are you, you talking mean, like, about the king's the room and the queen's room? Ver the palace of Versailles? Yeah, that's in Versailles. No, I didn't go to Versailles. Oh, you didn't? Yeah. Oh, wait, they do have rooms that are like palace design decorated. Mm. Oh, there's some. Oh, I did see some one. fancy shit there. There's some fancy shit that she probably sat on. They're dirty ass. You know that's been a museum for a very long time. What? Which one? The loop. Oh. For a very very long time. What's very very long time mean? I don't even know. I just know it's old. Oh. But before that, it was a castle. Oh. Because if you go down on the way out, you know how there's all those big brick things. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, and then they say before this was a castle, and then on top of the castle they built the museum. Yeah. yeah. That was a Chinese oh, tour guide. Oh, was he? Huh? You had a Chinese tour guide? No, I was just saying that if there was a Chinese tour guide explaining oh, to okay. his... I'm like, was he eavesdropping on a tour? I thought that's what you did. Uh, no, so this woman, her name is Deborah. She... She doesn't sound very French. Well, Deborah. She... Oh, you know, Chinese tourists almost stampeded over Jess when we were at the Louvre. No. Yeah. What? Because she got caught like um, in the this balcony area taking pictures. Yeah. And then I looked over, and then there was like a sea of Chinese tourists coming toward us with freaking cameras. And I was like, "Oh fuck, we gotta get out of here!" <laughs> and she's like, "I'm trying to get this picture," and I'm like, "Fuck!" And I get out. Get out of here. <laughs> and then oh. they all just surrounded her and started trying to take pictures of her air. And then she was like, "Holy shit, I can't get out!" And I'm all like, "Oh fuck!" Stupid. <laughs> After you went like this, you know. <laughs> Pushed her ass to get out. <laughs> you it happens back. sometimes. I don't know, man. Yeah. Zombies. <laughs> oh no. No. Um. Uh, back to Deborah. <laughs> so she has dual uh, nationalities, or uh, they're saying national Natalie. Natalie. <laughs> national Natalie. <laughs> I like that better. Yeah. National Natalie. I got two national Natalie. <laughs> 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 yeah, so she's French and uh, she also don't say American. Don't say American. Don't she's from Lux Luxembourg. Luxembourg. Oh, yeah. yes. Is it Luxembourgian or how no. would you say a person that's from there? Luxembourgers. Lu okay. <laughs> Luxembourgians. You know Luxembourg is its own country, right? Yeah. yeah. So when you went to the Luxembourg Garden, is that the same thing or is it just the name of it? I think it's just a name. I don't know. We're still in Paris. Oh, okay. Yeah, Luxembourg is outside of France. No, yeah. Yeah, we're still in Paris. I don't know why they named at the garden. I don't know shit about European geography. Mm. Anyway, so this I don't girl. Know shit about shit. She is an artist, a performance artist, and she was saying that. So I'm gonna show you what she did. Show me her lips. This is what she did. Oh, what shit. the fuck? Wow. Wait, how did she get so close to the fucking Mona Lisa? I was thinking the same thing. I was like, how did she cross that freaking thingy? In my is she wearing cowboy boots? Why is it so fucking boots? black? Because <laughs> she's she does, French. She has a bush mm. for she's sure. Fresh. Is she sitting on the floor? I can't tell if she's No, there. so, oh, so like she's sitting... Oh, what shit. the fuck? In front of people? Why yeah. even wear a top at that point? <laughs> it's art. Yeah. yeah, this is when they're trying to take her off. It looks like... Oh, yeah, I see that. <laughs> that lady's like, what the fuck? This is what she looks like. Oh, I thought I had a different photo, but you could see like where... You know where you lean up against the rail? Um, and then there's like that... The glass the case? and case thing, and yeah. then right there, there's like a long wooden table. Yeah. That's what she's sitting on, but it looks short in this yeah, photo. Me and Christina got to go there in front of everyone. Because you were pregnant? Because she was pregnant, and I had her on a wheelchair. I was pushing around the loop. Oh, you got to go oh, in the other side yeah. of the rail? Wow. wow. That must be nice. If she had to walk that whole thing, she would have not lasted. Oh, yeah. I barely lasted. I'm not even pregnant. That place is huge. I know. Yeah. We kept trying to just, where's the Mona Lisa? Let's just go see it because we have some other shit to do later and it took us forever to get there. Dude, the, the 
it felt like it was a Justin Bieber concert. Like the, oh, the it was way, super crowded. Yeah, the way people thirst for Mona Lisa. Mm -hmm. Wait, were you with us? I, I mean, yeah, I was there that day. Yeah, do you, yeah. Do you remember how fucking sweaty people were? Like, oh, hot in that ooh, room. Like they were just taking pictures, and I'm all like, dude, like, you can't appreciate the fucking painting if you're like, you know how small it is, right? Yeah. yeah. And so they're like halfway in the room and they're just like trying to take a fucking picture like pushing forward yeah. and I'm like what the fuck dude it's I mean it's the a painting but you got to see it with your own eyes man like and everyone's trying to take pictures I was one of those people it's for the, <laughs> it's for the but gram. then once I got in there and like I was right in the front I was and then I was done taking my photos with Isaac Casey every, selfies everything I was just like soak it in so get in with my eyeballs. <laughs> like I was just trying to appreciate it. You know, I thought the Mona Lisa was a lot bigger than yeah, what I was Yeah, me told. too. Everyone thinks that. It's like yeah. this fucking the big. Behind the Mona Lisa is fucking huge. It's yeah. the whole wall. And that then the, the Eiffel Tower is the one that fucked me up because I thought it was gonna be smaller than what it really is. Well, that's just huge. No Vegas, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then I went there and I'm like, oh yeah. shit. Oh yeah, it's huge. I had the same reaction yeah, too. I was like, it's this fucking yeah. huge. Yeah, just the base of one of like one of the four like legs. I'm like, oh my fucking god. I think that was me like all over France, like watching documentaries and seeing the buildings. They're a lot smaller. And I just think that they're like present day construction. And when you get there, it was like, what the fuck? This is like a wonder of the world. Like this yeah. is, this is huge. Mm -hmm. Like, damn, dude, uh, someone had a theme park for a home? Like, what no, the fuck is like this? That. It's crazy. But yeah, so Deborah here, uh, she Hi. did that and she did that. Uh, she's saying that she did it because she was. She was Horny? trying. Huh? Horny? She was trying to copy a, a photograph by oh. another performance art artist. Fucking David. An Austrian performance art artist named Valley Export. And so uh, this artist was famous for doing a similar stunt back in the 70s. So, she was so she's not even it. an original artist. She's just a fucking parody person. She's a little copycat. Yeah, she sucks. She's just jacking ideas. She's whack. I hate when people try to use like these stupid opportunities as an excuse to say like oh this is my art and all that is like you're not doing anything but bothering people <laughs> true like what what are you really doing like people she says, hmm? she says this is her message so she says my message is to question the place of women artists in the history of art that's why it's necessary to do my performances in museums there's people that are killing it though Actual women killing it in museums, mm -hmm. and now she's a disgrace to two nationalities. I mean, you can't nationalities. <laughs> uh, you really can't argue with artists because uh, art is supposed to induce some sort of like feeling, right? Yep. So the fact that we're talking about, we're like, what the fuck? She's wasting. It's like we're she. It it worked. But she's yeah. copying someone else too, though. Yeah. yeah. So it so her her art is annoyance. So that means most trolls are artists. Cause I think she just trolled everybody. If I spent all this fucking money to go to the Louvre to take, you know, pictures of Mona Lisa and sweat my greasy ass off next to a bunch of tourists, I want to do that. I don't want to see some fucking hairy ass pussy blocking the way. Like, dude, you're fucking up my picture. I would have grabbed her and arm swiped her and been like, no, nah, I came to see her, not you. You know, if you saw that, that would have been your highlight of the trip. It would have been hilarious. <laughs> yeah. So maybe I, it would have been cool. But at the same time, I would I would I'm just thinking about the people that saved up all this money, that got in, and then uh, it's also crowded. They waited a long time. And she but just kids. Fuck, she just yeah, she's oh. fucking up the experience. There's kids there. Yeah. If she wanted to do that, why don't she just perform like somewhere else? Like book a venue. Yeah, like, and do her own fucking street. yeah, furry pussy like show. Yeah. Well this isn't the first time she's done this. She's so, been arrested yeah. for indecent exposure before. Where at? At the Orsay Museum. Oh, Any another cares? French museum. So what is her state, like, is she trying to show, like, like, erotic art, or just, what is it? Like, if it's women in the art place, I feel like there's plenty of women artists out there that, that are skill-based, not just shock value like this. I think what goes against her is the fact that it's not original. Yeah. She's claiming to be an artist, but she's copying someone else. And it's not skill-based. There's a lot of female painters, like, that spend years and years learning a craft and it's skill based versus like anybody that's kind of crazy can go out there and be naked and like look 
I'm fucking causing a disruption. I, I could go up there, start jacking off in front of everybody and being like, this is my performance. <laughs> Maybe she spent hours trimming her pubes in two seconds. I don't know. Oh, yeah. She crafted her pubic hairs? Yeah. Mm. I don't know. That blurry shit did not look like a shape other than. We would never bush. know. We can't see it. I could tell. When's her next concert gonna be? <laughs> <laughs> For the people that are interested. Well, she's now facing trial on charges of sexual exhibitionism and assault. So her next show is at the courthouse. Assault, assault because she. Uh, yeah, the courthouse. Uh, assault because she bit the jacket of one of the security guards. <laughs> what the fuck? She's crazy. Dude. But that was her performance, right? I don't know. But yeah, so then what her lawyer, crazy. her lawyer here is saying that it's not exhibitionism if there is no wish to assault someone sexually, which is completely contrary to the work of this performance artist. Mm. It's not work. It's just fucking annoyance. Yeah. Man, I don't know. I, I don't like people hiding behind the veil of art. It's like, did she really spend years and years like doing, practicing this and developing a skill set and like, I don't know. I mean, that's how I feel about abstract art, especially the ones that are just paint, paint splatters on a canvas. Cause I'm just like, <laughs> anyone can kind of do that. Yeah, I could get some fucking paint and go back. Yeah. <sighs> Million exactly. dollars. Exactly. I don't know. Abstract art is not my thing though. Because it, it just frustrates me, but then I also feel like that's the point of abstract art is because just like how Jay was saying earlier, it's supposed to like bring out a feeling or like even just start a conversation. And for me, it's like it just makes no sense because there's really no skill in it. If you just splat paint on it. So that's the, you're talking that's about the it, thing so it though. Works. Exactly, but that's the goal it frustrates of me. The goal of abstract art is to make you hate it. Yeah. And to have you bond with other people and talk shit about how my fucking kindergarten mm -hmm. nephew can do a better job of this bullshit. <laughs> if you guys do abstract art, look, I'm sorry, but I'm more of a technical I'm not person. sorry. Don't be sorry, uh, girl. Don't be sorry. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> that's my art. <laughs> it's fucking garbage. <laughs> hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode of Just Kidding News. And if you did really enjoy it, or if you have thoughts about what you just watched, leave a comment down below and let us know. And for the next video, click right up here.